Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Um, I thought I'd just put a quick episode out there um, on one of the new stories that just keeps on giving um, and it could potentially affect a lot of us. It could affect me, it could affect you, it could affect the thousands of people who are now interacting with the channel, which I massively appreciate. I'm shocked how many people um, have watched videos and started interacting across all the various podcast platforms. I really appreciate it. Please keep it up. Um, yeah, the new story in question is Elon Musk's takeover and continued run of Twitter. And seeing the thousands of people, as I said, who are now interacting on this channel, the millions who are interacting right across the ether, we're all using Twitter for various different reasons. So this materially could affect us all. Um, so what do we know? Where does it come from? Where, what, what are the actions that have got to where we are now? Well, Elon Musk, the world's richest man of Tesla and PayPal, SpaceX fame, he bought uh, Twitter for $44 billion dollars and at the same time saddled it with something like 19 to $20 billion worth of debt. Um, within a few days, he sacked the entire Twitter board, the CEO, the CTO, everyone's gone. The board of directors, they're out of there. Within a week, maybe two weeks, he had sacked pretty much half of Twitter's global staff. Something like 3,700 people, gone. He then sent an email in typical cold CEO fashion, to everyone that was left, saying he demands excellence, and unless you're prepared to work long and very intense hours, you can get the fuck out of here. You'll get three months severance pay, but unless you're prepared to dance to my tune, work intensely, work all the hours effectively that God gives you, get out of town. Now we find he sends another memo, closing the Twitter office, locking everyone out until this Monday 20, 21st of November. He's revoked all access control rights for everyone, all employees, all contractors. Done. The office is shut. So that's quite a lot of information to take in in a very short period of time. He's only owned it for, what, a matter of weeks? So he clearly sees a lot of potential in Twitter. Yes, he said that he's overpaid and all the rest of it. But he sees that there's, there's profit possibility here with, with Twitter. What was Twitter? Why have we got here? Well, it was one of the world's most... Um, used social media platforms. It was originally a micro-blogging site. Um, you know, I think people started saying, look what I've got for dinner. Look at me go and take a poo. And it's obviously gone into a much more sort of interactive platform since then. Um, and yes, it has changed recently in terms of they had to try and moderate it. It's a very fine line between having that freedom of speech and being able to stop insightful, hateful language. Whatever they do, they were going to get it wrong. You're going to appease some people. You're going to piss some people off. They couldn't win. Um, he sees potential, clearly, by increasing the number of people who might use the platform. So what does he want to do? Well, the first thing he wants to do, he wants to reassess its moderation rules. He wants to return it to a freedom of speech platform. Uh, he wants to privatise the company, so he's in the process of delisting it from the stock exchange. It will no longer be a publicly traded entity, it will be a private incorporated company. He wants to start charging for the blue tick verification status, which I think he settled on $8 a month now. Um, <clears throat> he wants to increase the revenue of Twitter. He's actively pursuing investors. Twitter in 2021 had around $5 billion of revenue. He wants to increase that to $26 billion annual revenue by the end of 2028. That's like a four-time increase or five-time increase of its revenue. Um, as part of that, <coughs> excuse me, the, um, the bulk of Twitter's revenue at the moment of its $5 billion is through advertisers and sponsorship. Well, Elon wants to reduce that to less than 50% of Twitter's annual revenue. So how does he want to do that by the end of 2028? Um, the first thing he wants to do is Twitter has a, a not very well known payment platform, which doesn't really do an awful lot. And it looks like he wants to use that almost like a, uh, a competitor to Klarna or PayPal. Oh, the irony. Um, he wants to potentially instigate something like a wallet or a payment platform or a user to user transaction. He believes that 
This could be worth in excess of $15 million revenue by the end of next year. And he thinks it could be worth more than a billion dollars of revenue by the end of 2028. We shall see. If you could create a payment platform within the Twitter stratosphere, that potentially could be valuable. He wants to increase the number of users on the platform to more than 1 billion by the end of 2028. Now, depending on what metric you use, of course, there's bots and fake accounts and, um, and other such like. There's something they think somewhere in the region of 300, 400 million active users on Twitter at the moment. So he wants to more than double, almost treble the number of users by the end of 2028. He also wants to improve or increase the value and revenue spend of each user, which is an important metric when valuing social media's worth. He wants to increase each user's revenue to the company to between five to six dollars, which immediately, if you do that math, is worth five to six billion in revenue. Now, the way that you can do that is by selling digital products and services, the verification that we spoke about. He also wants to introduce premium features via a subscription model. We don't know what those de details are, um, but that could be a pay per month thing for access to some premium features. We, we don't really know what that will be, but if he was to increase the user base, we don't know what those tactics are gonna be. If he could get more than a billion active users, if each user was worth five or six dollars to the company, all of a sudden you've got five or six billion worth of revenue right there. If he could get and generate more than a billion dollars worth of revenue from this internal payment system that he's talking about, well, that straight away you could be looking at six, seven, eight billion dollars of revenue. If he's talking about increasing the amount of advertising uh, and sponsorship that Twitter already has, well, if it's already generating five billion and he wants to increase that, well, we could be looking at 10. So the numbers are potentially feasible, but the way that he's going about it seems to be the opposite of how most PR firms would expect you to run a business and appease and promote and be attractive to potential users. The way that it's publicly coming out that he's treating the employees and the contractors doesn't fill investors or potential users with confidence. And we've seen an exodus of people from Twitter. We've seen other platforms have a, a sharp increase in the number of new users registering with them. I don't really know what the answer or what the future holds, but the fact that so many people involved in my channel, so many people involved in other people's channels uh, have got Twitter out there. I thought it was worth touching upon. Um, and I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. What are you going to do with your Twitter accounts? Are you going to keep them? Do you use them for personal use? Do you use them for business use? Have you got a little bit of worry or do you still feel confident using that platform? I'd love to know what your what your views are, what your thoughts are. At this point in time, all we can do is watch this space. Elon Musk has shown himself to be an unpredictable character. He will dance to his own tune. So we have to wait and see what he's going to do with Twitter. We have to wait and see if there's going to be a genuine contender or replacement for it. Um, and yeah, let's see what, what happens. Let's, let's wade through this together, shall we? Anyway, in the meantime, I hope you're well, and I will be releasing more videos and more episodes to you very, very soon. Take care.